A film reviewer normally talks about the strength and weaknesses within the proceedings of art. Gives his take on a film whether it's worth the book or worth avoidance. It is not often that one is called upon to value judge a film and I have steered clear from that route for a long, long time in my career as one who talks and writes about cinema. But there do come moments when you have to take a stance and one such happened with this film called Maharaja. Obnoxious. The celebration of violence must be capped. After all, good, evil, nice, bad, brilliant, everything needs a cap. There is nothing that is an end in itself. And the violence that is perpetuated by director Nithil and Swaminathan in the making of Maharaja is of course this. I, I really have no words to talk about a film like this. Primarily extremely meandering, written by himself, the dialogues by again himself and Ram Murali. You wonder what kind of a story they were building for hours on end with the story. You have a barber who dokes on his daughter Jyoti. The barber is uh, the lead player, Vijay Situpati. And as the daughter, as she grows up for Jyoti, you have Sachana Nambia. Uh, Vijay Situpati is star actor responsibility enough to be saying he will do no such films. Apart from the fact that he is doing films of a certain kind one street after, there is a southern Navazuddin. The content of a film is the responsibility of a star, if not a film. And here, I think, Vijay Singh has let down all expectations of those who expect more from a star than just entertainment. He's a barber who dotes on his daughter. She goes off on a trip from school. Then his house is ransacked. We have gaudy pictures of a snake coming, things like we don't know what road the snake has, why it is brought into the film. And then they complain about the loss of a dustbin in the police station. It is obviously taken with ridicule. But when he starts bribing the police in terms of lakhs of rupees for finding the lost dust bin, the police get intrigued. Then there is the crime story of three criminals at large. You have Selma, Anurag Kashyap, Sabri, Vinod, Sawa, two of whom are small time decoys, sorry, they don't be wrong. But they sexually satiate themselves with victims, kill them, and go on. Everything comes much later when these two, the twain meet. What happens thereafter? The usual godly story of rape, showing the rape victim, and all. It's just this much that societally we should refuse to accept and stomach any of it. This uh, and uh, this uh, antithesis of uh, celebrating rape by showing it in detail or talking about it in a crass manner without dealing with it from a sociological angle is something that our cinema must put a screeching halt to. To me, Anurag Kashyap as the villain, hardly anything worth coming down to India and doing a film of the sky. Good performances, maybe. Especially by uh, Natarajan Subramaniam as the inspector, one standout performance. Predictably good performance from Vijay Sethupati. But a film that leaves you nasty. This is no way of taking mainstream audience to watch a film. Stay away. Protest if you can against a film of this kind. This note, uh, I'm telling you very consciously, stay away. From this kind of cinema. It does us no good. Signature uh, acknowledgements to Abhinav and Dutton. Bye bye.